Hi everybody. In today's video, this is another exploration of some of the vector operations you can do, vector GIS operations you can do in R. And today we're going to look at points in polygons, but using buffers around lines. The main purpose of this is to give you a sense of how to how this really simple process works in R, and just more practice with this idea of point and polygon in in R using these uh, these great libraries, RGOS specifically. The first part of the process here is to load the libraries that we need, and in this case it's RGDAL for the for some things and RGOS as well for the R how we access this particular buffer function that we need to use. And I'm going to create lines and points and then turn them into the types of objects that we need them to be, or the types of classes, spatial points, data frames, and a, spa and a set of spatial lines as well. So we, what, we've got, what we've got is, if we can just, we can plot these out. So I can plot out the points just to see what they look like. And there's the points, and I can do the same thing with these lines as well, just to see what they look like. These are just randomly generated. You can see I've got some points and I've got some lines. And so imagine that this is a situation where each line is a roadway or and you want a buffer around it to find out how many points are within a certain distance of the roadway. Well, this little function will create that buffer layer, G buffer. And but there's a few things to keep in mind here. The first argument is the this spatial geometric object that you're putting in, going to be putting buffers around. The second one indicates that the operations should be done for each individual item within the class or within the layer. So there's a bunch of lines here and basically you're going to create a buffer around each unique line rather than a single buffer around all of them. And this here specifies the width of that buffer. So here we'll do, we'll create the buffer and then we'll just plot it out again so you can see what it looks like. And now we've got a buffer. So we've got a bunch of buffers and each uh, within this layer, this class B1, what we've got are a bunch of polygons, but there's a polygon associated with each unique line. And then what we want to do is just do, well, the first thing I do is actually turn this buffer into a spatial polygon data frame with, um, you could uh, you could include data in it if you wanted it to, but here I just created an, uh, something called an identifier, unique identifier, and I basically use that to create the spatial polygons data frame out of this thing. And then I just do an overlay. In this case here, we're summing up the points in each polygon buffer. So what we we've got this we've added these data and if you look at the if we, if we look at this now we can see that there within the data that, that is within this spatial polygons data frame we have a count of the points within each buffer. And then if you want of course you can plot it out if, if for no other reason than just to verify that the count is is correct. So that's the that's it. It's fairly straightforward. You can create a buffer of a specified width. You can determine whether you want the buffer to cover all of the lines or all the, the objects within the, the class as one thing to sum it up for all of them. Or if you want each section, for example, to be unique, you can specify that with this by ID equals true or false. And then you just sum it up using a sum function here. You could, of course, have, there are other functions available to use as well. And that's it. It's fairly straightforward to use this. And that's all for now. All right. Bye.